Hey, this is Jonesy from Jonesy TV coming at you with a review for the season finale of DC's Legends of Tomorrow, episode 16, Legendary. This episode was one of the best finales of a CW show I have seen in a long time. So basically the premise of the episode, the team uh, has basically given up. They don't want to fight Savage. They don't think they can win against Savage. They're sort of on the, on the ground. And Sarah, it opens up with Sarah figuring out about um, how her sister Laurel has died and there's emotional gravitas there. But we see uh, Rip having an hallucination where he's flying this bomb off into the sun to uh, save the team in the episode. And really, it uh, helps set up the fact that uh, he realizes, you know, his family's dead and his family's gone, but that doesn't mean they shouldn't fight Savage. So he goes up, he rounds up the team, and they go on this one last journey to kill Vandal Savage. And they, you figure out that he is sapping his abilities or trying to control the world with this meteorite and so uh they go to three different times uh the 1960 uh time uh piece of time okay. with um i believe that was uh night of the hawk uh they go back there they go to the 1940s to fight nazis to get the other rock and then they go to the uh 2000 or 1970s to get the other rock and basically this episode is fantastic it had some great moments uh the fight scenes were on point it was cool seeing them uh vandal savage be barbecued by mick roaring and sat and satisfying uh sarah killing savage and the other timeline was or other time was sweet uh and the fight scenes were amazing and uh then rip of course i mean the hawks killing him in the other time was just it was just fantastic or i mean I, actually i think it was rip rip killed him by kicking him and he exploded but it was just one of the best episodes ever i mean the action was on point the emotion was there uh, the emotional points were great and savage's three-part death was amazing and you know he's just an annoying villain like i didn't think he was very menacing this whole season but he was very annoying, so just to see him perish three times was very satisfying, and the writers knew it. Uh, we see also, uh, of course, Rit, or I mean, Mick goes back and back to the past to uh, say goodbye to Leonard Snart, and Leonard doesn't even know what's going to happen. So it's a very emotional scene. I think that I almost cried there as well as I cried the previous episode, but. Um, it was a very good moment. Also, we saw, uh, of course, the uh, the Hawks leaving at the end of the episode, which is, I mean, that was even more satisfying than three-part death of Vandal Savage because they were terrible this season. They were the one thing that was bad, and I feel like the writers realized that finally. Uh, and really, the coolest part of this episode is the setup for season two, the Justice Society of America. I mean, they're bringing the Justice League to television. That is awesome. And so the DC Legends of Tomorrow finale, Legendary, was simply fantastic. And I had to give it a 9.9 .9 because this was one of the most entertaining hours of television I have ever seen. I'd give it a 9.9. .9. That is the highest score I think I've ever given a Legends of Tomorrow review, but it really deserves it. So make sure to check out my other reviews. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe for more content. Uh, I'll be putting up my season review for DC Legends of Tomorrow tonight as well. Uh, I, this has been Jonesy from Jonesy TV. I hope you've enjoyed this review and the season of DC's Legends of Tomorrow as I have. Uh, this has been Jonesy from Jonesy TV signing off.